بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو آفس ڈاٹ کام ڈاٹ پی کے ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس از یور بایولوجی کلاس اینڈ وی آر ڈسکسنگ میوسز وی ہیو ڈسکس دا فیزز آف میوسز ان دا پریویس ویڈیوز اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول ٹاک اباؤٹ دا امپارٹنس آف میوسز وائی اٹ از این امپارٹنٹ فینومینا دا میوسز از امپارٹنٹ ان ٹو میجر ڈائمینشنس The first one is variations and evolution and the second one is gamete formation. Now let us discuss variation and evolution. During meiosis, two important phenomena of crossing over and random assortment means randomly the chromosomes are separated random assortment of chromosome will take place so during crossing over what happens is that the parental combinations or the parental chromosomes they exchange their segments okay we call that exchange of segment as chiasmata so chiasmata occurs or exchange of segment happens which results in large number of recombinations M- means the genetic material will recombine so more and more combinations will be formed okay which uh, is very significant also during anaphase the chromosomes will be separated randomly there will be random assortment of homologous chromosomes which will give very wide range of variety of gametes there will be variety of gametes so both these phenomena will cause variation and modification of the genome genetic makeup will be there will be variety of genome and there will be certain modifications so these variations are not only uh, the basis of evolution but also they will impart certain specific characteristics to an individual this shows that when at the time of uh, formation of the daughter cells the genetic material will recombine so every uh, sibling uh, among the children of the parents they are different from one another in the appearance in their habits and in the different characteristics why because at the time of formation of the particular cells there will be recombination and every time there is recombination due to which there are more chances of variation now the second uh, even the children they do not look like their parents not exactly like their parents okay there is a very rare chance so basically this crossing over and random assortment it will give multiple number of recombinations of the genetic material and ultimately we will get a wide range of genetic material which will give certain specific and different kinds of characteristics to the offsprings now the second important phenomena is gamete formation gametes are basically the sex cells for females they are eggs and for males they are the sperms now both will be haploid now nature has created this phenomena because of a certain reason that nature wants to maintain a certain diploid number of chromosome in an individual now the gametes that are formed will have the number of chromosomes uh, which are reduced to half now when these eggs and sperms they join to form a zygote 
that zygote will have n plus n to n number of chromosomes it means that when the gametes recombine the diploid number is regained okay if at the beginning there will be no reduction of chromosomes then 2n plus 2n will give 4n the chromosome number would have doubled and this is against the law of nature so it means that every time there will be doubling of chromosomes and ultimately there will be change of species what can we say that if the human beings they have 46 chromosomes and in the next generation they become 2 multiplied by 46 which will give 92 chromosome so it will become some other species which is practically not possible so nature has created this beautiful system of balancing the number of chromosomes that whenever the basis of a new individual is set up the starting cells they will have the half number of chromosomes which will recombine to form a diploid normal individual so we cannot imagine the consequences of doubling of chromosomes so every time if it would happen there will be a different generation and a different species so this is not possible it will destroy the balance of nature so this is all about the importance of meiosis in the next video we will talk about the meiotic errors what will happen if certain point will not take place properly if a certain phase is disturbed or chromosomes they fail to get equally distributed in the daughter cells we will talk about it in detail in the next video till then take care of yourself keep watching office.com.pk and keep studying allah office